Good morning. Let's confess the Word of God in faith together. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is Lord over my family and in my family. Jesus is Lord over our day. Jesus is Lord over the United States of America. Jesus is Lord over the nations of the world. Satan is utterly destroyed and defeated. Jesus soundly defeated him and made a show of him openly. He is come to naught in my family, in Jesus' name. So we have learned from the Word of God by the Holy Spirit that God has given us, yes, it is a gift, the gift of wisdom, His very own wisdom. This was God's heart's desire that He give us His wisdom so that our lives would be full of peace, so that we would walk in our way safely, so everything in our life would go well. That is the will of God for us. So, like Paul said in uh, Hebrews, I believe it's chapter 2, how can we escape if we neglect so great a salvation? Well, this is part of our salvation that he has given us. And, you know, in Proverbs, he says, for the Lord giveth wisdom. It's a gift. And then in um, James chapter 1, he says that God would give to all men liberally his wisdom. So the heart of the Father is for you to receive the very wisdom of God that he has already given to us. Just like when he told Joshua to tell the children of Israel to go in and possess the land that he had already given them. He has already given us his wisdom so now we just simply need to possess it. Listen to 1 Corinthians chapter 1, um, verse 21 and 24, I think it is. For after that, in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Unto them which are called both Jews and Greeks, Christ, the power of God, and the wisdom of God. So Christ is to you the wisdom of God and the power of God. Say that with me right now. Christ is made unto me the wisdom of God, and Christ is made unto me the power of God. And then in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 6, he says, however, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world. So there's two kinds of wisdom, the wisdom that's in the world, and then there's the wisdom of our Father God, our Creator, the one who created all things, the one who by wisdom founded the heavens, founded the earth, the one who by wisdom created everything, and he has made this wisdom available to us. And not only available, but he's already offered it. I mean, it's, it's, it's a gift that he purchased for us so that we could have his wisdom. So he says, however, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world that come to nothing. So the princes of this world and the wisdom of the fallen angels, the wisdom of Satan who was fallen, but not only that, he has been destroyed and defeated according to Hebrews 2.14. But we speak, notice this, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. And notice how Paul says that because he's speaking it as the word says, we also having the same spirit of faith, we believe and therefore we speak. So he is speaking this by faith. So you say this also, we speak the wisdom of God. Even the mystery 
even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. And listen to what David, King David said, because I, I firmly believe that many, 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 probably the majority of things that David said, uh, besides the things that he was just praising God, you know, that he had done in the past, but I believe that the majority of things that Dave, King David said, uh, even before he was king, is that he was calling things that be not as though they were. Because he saw in the word how God called things that be not as though they were. So this is what uh, David said in Psalms chapter 49, verse 3. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. So let's you and I say that right now. My mouth shall speak of wisdom. Say it again. My mouth shall speak of wisdom. And we saw that also in Proverbs 31, that we open our mouths with wisdom. My mouth shall speak of wisdom, and the meditation of my heart shall be of understanding. So yesterday, I gave you this prayer that uh, the Holy Spirit gave Paul to pray. And I'm going to pray this right now over you. And then also, it is a good thing for you to pray this over your family every day and people that you want to have their eyes opened to the understanding and the wisdom of God. I've prayed this for different members of my family, and um, when they didn't understand what we were saying, and God opened their understanding without having to preach to them. In Ephesians 1, 17 and 18, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the Father of glory may give unto each one of you the spirit of wisdom right now in Jesus' name and revelation in the knowledge of him. I pray and believe that the eyes of your understanding are enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints is, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power to you right now who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised Jesus from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principality and power and might in every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And then in Colossians 1, 9, for this cause we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to desire that you be filled with the knowledge of his will. So I pray that right now for each one of you, no matter where you are, no matter when you're listening to this video, because faith works at any time. And as the word goes forth right now, I believe that God hears and answers this prayer. And I believe that you are filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Father, we just thank you for that in Jesus' name, that every person is filled with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Praise God. Praise God. So both of these prayers, I encourage you to thank God every day for the things that are in these prayers, that they are true unto you. That's, again, Col Colossians 1. 9 and then Ephesians chapter 1, uh, starting actually probably in about verse 16. And then there's another one in Ephesians chapter 3 that is good to pray as well. And so since these are from the Holy Spirit, it is good for you to pray these, receive them, and believe them. So Romans 10, 
says, with our heart, we believe, but with our mouth, confession is made unto every part of our salvation. The wisdom of God is a gift given us in our salvation. So acknowledge that, that Christ is made unto you wisdom, that you have the very wisdom of God every moment of every day, and that you are of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. In Jesus' name, confess that over you, over your spouse, over your children, over your whole family, and watch how God performs that word for you. Remember all day, Jesus is Lord. Thank God his word works. And thank God you have the wisdom of God right now and for the rest of your long life on this earth in Jesus' name.